All right, so apparently I um, slacked on uh, beekeeping, but you know what, it's okay. Um, we do a lot of splits and we try to catch a lot of swarms, uh, whether it's here on our farm or from a different location that we get called into. But this morning, this morning we got a big old swarm right up in our, right up in that tree. And we're gonna try to catch them. I need more coffee. Or actually, I really don't need more coffee. This is gonna be the adrenaline rush that's gonna get me going. <laughs> Ugh. Put a hook on that. I have something inside the the thing on yeah. one pole. Uh -huh. Pull it down, and then take the other pole with the bucket. We might, if we could. I want to try and get a hold of that branch, and I want to see how far I can pull that branch down. Okay. Let me go get some stuff. We are legit MacGyvering this. So we um, got the bucket onto the tractor. Necessity the mother of invention. Yeah, necessity. It's the mother of invention. Um, so we got we have the bucket hooked up to the tractor, but as you can see, they're still a little bit taller than than what we kind of anticipated. So now what we're going to try to do is catch this swarm with um, some extra material that we have laying around and some duct tape and a bucket. I really don't know if we're going to catch these bees, but we are sure going to try. Here, clean this up on that. Be extra secure. The only thing that we're going to have a hard time doing with this angle is as soon as the. You're going to have to probably pull the pieces in off. Pretty tight. <laughs> this doesn't work oh well. We're going to try. Anything with gorilla tape. It's on there. All right, I gotta. I see we suit up. Uh, if this is a total fail, yeah, it is what it is. We're gonna give it a try. There are a few more bees that are kind of collecting up there, but I had a feeling we might have to come back and do this again. Um, however, this behavior right now, this is what uh, makes me feel pretty confident that we were able to, uh, to get her. Saying, hey, we're here. I'm gonna let these girls settle, um, but I am gonna have to move them into their own, uh, their own hive. They're gonna get a big one. This is a pretty decent swarm. Can I get my glove back? Oh, they'll come back out. Can I please get my glove back? Okay, so, Chip. Look, almost. Please do not eat my my glove. Come on. <laughs> Give me my glove. Oh my. One of our really awesome uh, viewers sent us a present the other day and I was able to build it and I had intentions on doing something really, really grand on the design. Um, but I'm gonna tell you, we kind of ran out of equipment, um, and it is what it is. This is day, I feel like, 543 of swarm catching season, um, but 
this hive has been one that I've kind of wanted to try for quite some time, mainly because we have Langstroth hives and that's all the equipment that we have. So for me to switch over to something new, I was kind of hesitant to like make the jump. I do have plans to, to try new hives uh, designs and be able to give my feedback and, and share. Um, but one of our lovely viewers, sent over a Langstroth long hive for us. We built it and we painted it, but I wasn't exactly done decorating it. Um, however, this swarm is so big and we're gonna put them in this horizontal hive. Let's see if we can get you all in here. If I can find the queen, that would be awesome, but I'm feeling very confident that she is 100% in this box. And if I can see her, I'll point her out and make sure that she gets in and all the other ones will follow, but um, if not, I'm not too, too concerned. I believe by their behavior, she is in here. Look at that big old fat boy right there. The girls are all uh, put in their new hive. Um, this was a really large swarm, so I have a feeling that they're gonna grow quite fast. Um, they seem to be happy. I did bring a spray bottle with a little bit of sugar water to spray on the frames just to kind of entice them to stick around for a little while until I can get into some of these colonies and give them some resources. Uh, maybe some drawn out comb, maybe some honey, maybe some pollen. I like to do that with all of our swarm catches because that gives them just like the best housewarming party ever. We'll keep you guys posted on this Langstroth long hive and let you guys know kind of what we think, what we like. Um, I'm planning on putting them up a little bit higher, uh, but for right now, this is just fine. We're gonna keep them here until we can get our, our potential, our new apiary set up. Um, but for the most part, I think they're gonna be pretty happy. Thank you guys for watching and coming along with my dad and I as we catch some bees without coffee this morning. <laughs> don't be afraid to be creative. Yeah, don't be afraid to be creative and inventive on, uh, on catching bees.